Now here we have the cube. It's uh, this was a fundraiser. Uh, um, Tom Bugs uh, at Bug Brand uh, made 50 of these as a fundraiser, uh, so that the artist collective could buy the cube, which is a a movie theater and performance space in Bristol. Uh, Bristol's produced uh, lots of interesting musicians, uh, lots of not so famous and famous and so forth. Uh, Portishead and Banksy and all sorts of people from there, but uh, you know, crabs in a bucket. There are lots of other people from there who are, who are equally interesting and do great stuff. And of course, there's Tom Bugs who is part of the scene there where he makes his um, uh, noisance and his rather interesting designs, many of which are sort of based on things like uh, cascading ring modulator uh, chips, three of them feeding in, in loops and things like that. And he always, since the start, liked capacitance and he used circuit boards to short circuit in there. One of the things that's a classic from uh, some of his work um, that I quite like, this is a level, there's a tone, is a starvation pot to starve the battery uh, power that comes into the circuit, which causes it to do really quirky things. There's uh, oscillators, um, they have two rates. Um, there's a high and a low switch for that. The power switch here, a built-in speaker. Uh, but uh, this one's rather unusual in that it has uh, four steps of sequencing with with their own rates and stuff so sorry we didn't have both speakers on there now we centered. Each of these pads are connected into the circuit and body capacitance shorts out and modifies the behavior of what's going on. And they're remarkably touch sensitive.
why I like Tom's designs for instruments. They don't sound like anybody else's work. The only thing I would change about this is my own preference is I like to play them with light so I would have loved to have a light resistor on it but I ain't complaining it's a wonderful little piece. If you go to his site he'll be selling a couple more of them. It's the Cube Weevil Bug Brand 20, oh, 20, 2013 uh, it's mono, three and a half inch jack that switches off the speaker. Works with that, of course. It's using a lot of surface mount parts now. So unfortunately you can't hack the back the way you used to be able to with hand capacitance. So they're meant to be tabletop machines. And uh, in my experience the batteries last six months, a year, a long time. Uh, and I really quite love them and highly recommend them. One of my favorite designers of uh, Electronics that, that, that are in keeping with the traditions of Hugh Davies and uh, Derek Bailey's approach to free jazz improvisation and Steam and the Crackle Box and that whole crowd of, of pre-circuit uh, bending uh, artists who really found something interesting about uh, creating abstract sounds with simple circuit boards. So if you go to... Uh, bugbrand.com at Bristol where where uh, where Tom's from and where the cube is um, you may actually find one or two of these still for sale and I'd recommend you pick them up because Tom doesn't step look backwards um, he makes 50 he sells 50 and the next machine will be something different uh, and it's always interesting <laughs>